Bring us up to speed then on, on these latest lines that we're hearing from Iran. So as the procession was uh, moving and moving and making its way in Kerman, uh, uh, the hometown of Soleimani, we saw the foreign minister of Iran, uh, Javad Zarif, uh, speaking, and he warned of a multi-generation war if the, in the region uh, if the U.S. presence continued. He reiterated uh, uh, um, an offer was made before for a regional non-aggression pact between Iran and its neighbors uh, across the Gulf and, uh, and in the region. And uh, basically, the stress again uh, was on the need for the U.S. troops to leave the region, uh, from the, which, which Hezbollah leader yesterday basically was saying uh, is the only fair price for Soleimani's killing. Do we know who is going to be running things now? I mean, if there's a, a retaliation, Zainab, who takes Soleimani's place? Well, Soleimani's successor had been named uh, 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 his general Khani, and uh, uh, definitely it's expected that he would be running that as the head of IRGC. But uh, within Iran, there are also there are hardliners and there are more moderate forces, and there must be right now going on some kind of debate on what is the appropriate response and what how uh, how can Iran deal with any with the fallback or the blowback from any response uh, to, uh, to, to this. Uh, so uh, we, we heard a little bit from Zarif, which uh, his speech was, uh, was basically going between, uh, you know, conciliatory tone towards the neighbors and the need to find solutions that are political uh, to problems in the region. At the same time, uh, warning that the U.S. presence in the region have been uh, destructive for it and the need for it to end.